Okay, so I've got this koi pond here that I've been trying to get a better filtration system in. So I looked on Google a little bit, YouTube a little bit. I see it's a pretty good pond. It's about 25 by 25, about three and a half, four foot deep. I've got about 20 fish in there, maybe 25, maybe a little more. I'm not sure. I've never counted them. I inherited these fish. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them or not, but you can see my pond's not terribly dirty right now because I've been really trying to get it clean, but it's still staying fairly dirty. So I'm working on this barrel system over here, but I'd like to show y'all and give you a little idea of what I've been doing. So, cut the lids off of them. Alrighty. I've done most of the work on them, but I'm going to go step by step kind of what I did. So you see over there is where I'm going to put them. I'm going to try to zoom in and let you see the pads. So I'll move over there. The sun gets in the damn shadow and all. But you can see I got one rock there, and then I got two rocks there. And that's my drain pipe. So that's for my backwash, which is going to wash over there into the woods. All right. So the first thing I did was dug it all out. They had something else back there behind that. And I dug it all out. I'm going to hide it behind my waterfall. You can hear my waterfall. And there's what it looks like. It falls on down there. Gives me good air, air in there. So I'm going to use that. And then... First thing I did was to take and cut the lids off the barrels. And then I took these barrels, where nothing was cut in them, and I put them over here. So I'm in position where I wanted them. And then I came over here with a magic marker. And I put marks on everywhere where I wanted the holes to be. Got all the holes where I wanted them to be. I'm going to go through them real quick, what they are. And then I'm going to hook stuff up to them so you can kind of see what it's doing. So my intake, we're going to start from the water coming in. My water's going to come in right here. This valve right here from the pump. So it's going to come under here, pump up, and come on in. Once it's inside the barrel, inside that barrel, you got those pipes there. I'm going to have to go see. I don't know that you're seeing them. So I got nobody here but me. So them pipes right there are what we're talking about. Back as far as I can go, I think. Get so much DA darn. Anyway, you can see it comes in and it makes that little swirl there. Let me get it back here out the sun and I think we can see it about here. There we go. Okay, so it comes in and it swirls. Okay. Now, on top of that first barrel, we're going to go through the first barrel. Is this right here. Okay, this is the lid. I poked all the holes in. I put these... Three inches on the bottom to give it some support for the rock that's going to go on top of this. This first barrel will be full of rocks. Okay, so that sits down inside of here. So now that's in there. Okay, on top of those barrels. Now, that line was already hooked up under there. So now, on top of that, I got my air manifold okay so that's my air manifold some of that's glued some of it's not just the holes is what i glue and you can see i drilled holes in all of that so when that air comes in there it's going to bubble up nice and fine we're going to see what's going to happen when we get it all done all right so now i put that inside of this Okay, so my air is going to hook up. Yeah, right here. My air is going to hook up to that little one right there. All right, that's the air. Okay, and there it is inside. 
that's what it looks like so the water circulating under there when I'm ready to clean it I'm going to bubble all that up to clean all the rocks it'll be smoothed out a little bit more so the next thing we do is going to be barrel two that barrel's all ready to be plumbed or we're going to the second Second barrel here. If I can get back so we see them both. So the second barrel there. There we go. That's not too bad. All right. So the second barrel there. It's got the same thing inside. Okay. It's just empty in there right now. I had to customize this a little bit, and I'll show you what I had to do. I had to take this so that it wasn't such a bigger one, and I'll explain that in a minute. Here's the one that's going to be in the second barrel. We're going to put that down in there. And then through this, I had to put this hole because the piping was so big on my on my same screen here. I've also going to have to put a, a piece of rubber from an air conditioning line. Like you would insulate an air conditioning line. I'm going to piece, I haven't got it yet. I'm going to put it around here just to make sure that the one-inch balls will match. Bio balls are what goes in this. They can't fall down the side of this and get into this plumbing. Okay? We're going to put that down in here. And then on top of that, put this air manifold. So there's that air manifold. So you can see it good. It's the same thing. Just a bunch of pipes with a bunch of holes and all capped off. Okay, so we're going to put that into this second barrel. And it's going to plumb right into that same hole right there. It's a smaller half inch hole. We're going to put that down in here. I had to customize it a little bit. Good fit. I put my saw and stuff away, but I got one more piece to cut. I didn't notice until today. Okay, so here you see it in there. Now, I still got this piece right here to cut. It's going to go between these two, okay? So we'll get that done here in a little bit. All right, so now we got the two barrels ready on the inside. Let's just assume that other piece is in there. Okay, so we got the two barrels here. Now, the next bit of plumbing's on the inside is this here. This here is going to go in the first barrel where this water comes in. Okay, or actually where it leaves to go back out to the uh, second barrel. Okay, so screws in with this. This is an adapter, and I'll bring it over here after I get in here so you can kind of see it. Screws into there. You can buy these at the farming shops. They're the best place to get this kind of stuff. You can see there. Okay, it screws in. What all them slots and holes are for. So when that water fills up in that barrel, it's got plenty of time to get into that other pipe and go through that other pipe. All right, so now, get back here again far enough. There you go. So now this one goes on. This one here, we're going to screw in here. Keep my hand working. I'm screw in there. And this one... I haven't glued anything yet. It's going to screw it down here. And this is going to go from this barrel to this barrel. Okay? Okay, I like that. Looks so like you can see that pretty good, right? So now, water fills up through the dirt here. I mean, through the rocks here, through the rocks, through the rocks, through the rocks. Comes on up. Gets into that pipe. Comes through here. Drains down here. Now, I was told the rule of thumb is you want whatever size the water is coming in, you want this to be twice that size so the flow continues. That's also the reason when you saw them over there that this one was up higher, sitting up here like this. Okay, so that the flow. Okay, so the next thing that would go on would be the backwash. Okay, you can still see. I'm going to move this out the way so that we can see it. That would be on there. Let's take that off. We can see it. Now this is the backwash. Okay, I'm not going to screw it in. I'm just going to lay it here so you can see what it would do. Okay. The 
backwash would go in there like that. There's the backwash going in. And the two lines and the T in the middle. It's going to hook up the hose I got down there that I told you was going to wash out into my yard. And then I can cut barrel one on or barrel two on while I bubble it up and backwash it. Then the air, with them other two little pipes there, I'm sorry about stepping in front of the camera. They go here, like this. They put them in a tad. You can see them. They remember they're all sight now because this barrel's actually up higher, remember? It'll be up here like this, so they'll be next to each other when I got it in, and you'll see that. And then this line here. Comes in, hooks into the two of them. Okay, so let me make sure it's picturing. So you can see it, because it's not. Put this up here. Make sure you get a good look. And the airline hooks in right there. So there you go. Those two hoses come out. The airline hooks right up into them. And I got a shut off valve for either one of them to turn them off. All right, so then the only thing left is this one right here. And it hooks into this for the overflow. So it hooks in here to blow the extra water. If something happens in this barrel where it fills up and it gets so mucky and I haven't cleaned it, Instead of the water bubbling over, it's going to flow into this and then flow into the, into the, back into the pond. Okay, so that's kind of what I got going on. I'm going to start doing the glue, and once I get it all put together, you can uh, see it all put together. I'll give you one more look on the insides again, just so you see. So that's the, underneath that is the, uh, is the pipe there. You can see just a tad of them on the sides there, and the air. And then, like I said, that's the drain. That's the air. You can put the air in any way you want. That's the overflow. This is going to the next barrel. Here's the next barrel one more time, going into the next barrel. So it's air going into the next barrel, backwash, and there's what the inside of that one. Let me get out that sort again. There's what the inside of that one looks like. And uh, this is going to have all bio balls in it, and then that's the final flow into the pond with pure clean water, we hope. So here's barrel number two. I've just got this piece ready. I got it all glued. I'm going to set it in there and then I'm going to set my top on it. Okay, now I got that on there. Now I'm not going to glue this, okay? Because if I ever want to take it apart, I won't be able to. And this is all internal water, so if it leaks a little bit, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm not going to glue that. Okay, next was the air. And the same thing with the air. I'm not going to glue this because if it bubbles a little here, it's not going to make any difference. And I think it's in there tight enough. We'll see. That Make sure it doesn't come apart. If it comes apart, we'll have to glue it. But I don't think it's going to be able to. I think we're going to get plenty of airflow and not have that problem. Okay, so that's all of barrel two. Okay, so I'm starting on barrel number two. And I wanted to show you guys this. This is the stuff I got. Like I said, it's best to get them from a farm store. But the farmers use these kind of barrels. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't come with this white thing on it. It's a separate plumbing. Okay, so you got this piece that goes in. And on the inside, you put the rubber on. I'll make sure you get a shot of that here. Let me tighten it just a little bit. So you put the rubber on there. Kind of hard with one hand. Oh, damn it. Hold on a minute. Anyway, it's pretty simple. This goes in, the rubber goes on, and this goes on top. Okay, you don't have to see it inside there. So here, there, and then it's counter, counterclockwise to tighten it up. And then you get that baby on there. Get rid of a little more light. You get that baby on there, and then you tighten them all up. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go around. I'm going to tighten every one of them up. This is the first barrel that all the water goes in. I'm going to get it all tightened up and then plumb it. Okay? Okay, so there's the water input for barrel number one. And the same, I didn't glue. 
the one going in just in case I got some problems. I'll see when I go, but I don't think I'm going to have any problems. So now I'm going to put the cap on. So I'm sitting over there. The cap on and the air in it. And then the water filter. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so I got this all in. There's the bottom with the holes in it for the water to bubble up through the rocks and get all cleaned. The air filter to bubble off the dirt and backwash it. And then this is the filter I was telling you about that's going to filter out the water into the next barrel. It's not really filtering. It's just going to keep any of the dirt, and, well not dirt, but the rocks and stuff from getting in. Because the rocks will only be up so high here, about in here somewhere. And then the water will come up and whatever excess water will go into this. Like I was telling you, flow out. So that's what the inside of one of these puppies looked like, which was kind of hard for me to find on the internet. That's why I did this video. I hope it's helpful for some of you guys. Okay, now I'm going to do the outside of the barrel. Now on the outside of the barrel, when I put these in, I want to at least put Teflon tape on them. To make them tight. Inside the barrel, I'm not real concerned about any of this being real tight. If anything leaks inside the barrel, that's fine. When I put this on here, I'm going to go get some Teflon tape. This is some Teflon liquid, and I'll show you both of them. And I'm going to... Make sure that they're on there good. So I'm going to go get that Teflon tape, wrap all these up, tighten them all down, and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, on the water end, we're using this pipe thread stuff. Works a little better. Comes a couple different companies make it. Put it on there. It's just going to give you a much better seal because this is the water going in. I don't want to have any leaks. Water going in, or over here, where it's coming out. I want as little leaks in this as possible. Cause, like I told you, I'm gonna bury all this under my, under my, uh, my uh, water fountain there. So once it's all covered up, all I'm gonna be able to get to are those valves. All right. So, and here's the Teflon tape I put on the air. These two, I'll put the the uh, liquid pipe sealer on. Now you don't need a lot of this. Just get it in the threads. Then when you go to put it on there, when you go to put it on there, it'll just thread right on in. Okay? Let me get the right one for that and I'll put it in. Okay, guys, got most of it done here. For the plumbing part anyway. As you can see, got both barrels set up there. Come on down here. We're going to turn. We're going to look at the, right here we got the air, and we got the backwash. The blue ones are the backwash, and the red ones are the air. You can see my little valve there, my little valve right there that I stick my air compressor hose onto. If that doesn't work, I'll change that out to blow with like a shop vac or something, really get some air going through there. And you can see I put my rocks all here. That's going to be so I can pile stuff up like this and make it make it a little better looking around it. That black line is my backwash I was telling you about. There it is going from side to side. Now I'm going to show you real quick on the inside. I put that foam around there I was telling you about. Got that all set up. There's my overflow. Inside here is all set up. We've already gone over a lot of that. Painted them black so they wouldn't show. Next step is going to be to get the rock water all in it and see if it leaks. I won't be doing that for a couple days, so I'll download all this and put it together. And then in a couple days, I'll uh, finish it up, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm back at it. I got, uh, as you can see, all this here plumbed. Got the barrel plane painted black so they look good. I got the rocks in this one. The bubbling system working pretty good. You've got to go back in. This is that overflow I told you. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the air to this one so you can kind of see how it works. Okay, so I got everything done and I'm running it. Um. Come on out here and let you see. 
I got this one running here with the rocks in it. And I've got anywhere. To, I live where it's very rocky, as you can see all these rocks I got everywhere. I live on a mountain. So I just gathered up rocks from around my yard because they're these coarse kind of rocks here. This is what you want is this coarse kind of rock. So I got a lot of them around. So I got some that were about, in this barrel right here, I got some that were about hand size, fist size, and then, you know, just a rock size, small throwing rock size. And then on top of that, I put two bags of uh, lava rock. So that's what this is first barrel is all filtering through and coming in here. Then I put this one here. I got bio balls in. You really can't see them. Because I got this little, get it where you can see it. Right there. A little black thing. So they come in this bag here from China. Of course, everything freaking comes from China anymore, it seems. Anyway, that's what they look like. They're little one-inch bio balls. You can get them in all different sizes. Put the air on. You can get a picture of how good it's doing there. You can see it's kind of all around it. This is where my bio balls are going to go. I shut that one off. This has already got rock in there. You can see it's still boiling pretty good I mean kind of hard to get good light in there but you can tell it's boiling really good so next thing I'm going to do is finish up my little bit of plumbing here I added an airflow valve to keep it flowing so that I could keep the water flowing I was having trouble with it filling up and not flowing so that air is helping it flow so I'm gonna let it run for two weeks or a week and a half or so and then uh, we'll see how clean the pond gets. It's pretty dirty right now. You can see the fish a little bit, but not very well. So I'm going to just let it run continuously for uh, a couple of weeks, and I'll see how clean. I'll keep sweeping it and keep see how clean we can get it. All finished up. You can see from here how well it's cleaned it. I don't know what you can and can't see, but there's all my fish that you can obviously see. I got a lot of fish like to get rid of some of them. They're on the bottom, so it's clear all the way down. It's about a three foot deep. There's what I'm using to suck it up. So that's what I'm using. There's my pump over there. Everything runs under my deck here. Comes up into my two barrels. Got the barrels all done. It's overflowing into that one there. There's that one flow there, and then as I said on all the other ones, that's my overflow, that's the intake there, some river gravel I put in there. I got my wall all built back up. I built me a couple of lids to go over top of them. There's one there, and here's the other one here. So those are my lids right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these on and show you what we do. So, this one sits on here like this, and then this one sits on here like this, that's it's all closed up, and then here's my stuff at the bottom here, I take this rock off and I got my, I had these glued on but it's not holding too well, so I'm going to have to figure something else out, but I got rock glued on there. Come on, get up out of there. See, they all coming off, so that didn't work too well, but we'll figure something out. And then here's all my gadgets down in there. The backwash and everything that I showed you. So when that's all on, I'll put it all back together, and I'll give you all one more video showing you the fountain finished and how it all looks. Okay? And then that'll finish it up and I'll put it on out there. Alrighty. Alright guys, and there you have it. From start to finish. All done. The barrels are under there. Covered up pretty good. Waterfall's looking excellent. As I showed you, the pond is perfectly clean. Two barrel system. Works great. Rocks and bio balls. 
Um, I'll try to get a little bit more of an idea of a list of what I put on to it. But I, that's not too hard to figure out on your own. So anyway, uh, I hope this helped all you guys. And uh, I know some of you are looking for something out there to fix. This is going to be pretty detailed. I hope it helps. God bless and take care of yourselves. There's a good shot of my waterfalls. You can see I'm getting plenty of irrigation. So I'm getting lots of air into the pond. The fish are happy. Thanks again.